Hello, I'm Sarah, the lead developer at Acute Owl Studio. I want to tell you about this adorable game called Bones Cafe. I made this game together with my husband Tim, and our friend Cole Harmon composed the amazing music for it. Bones Cafe is about a necromancy school dropout who dreams of opening a cafe. The gameplay is a bit like Overcooked and Factorio. You start out with a small cramped cafe with a single dish on the menu and grow it over time to a huge cafe serving dozens of complicated dishes with a full staff of chefs and servers. You can play it by yourself or with up to four players local co-op. You can also use Steam Remote Play to play with friends remotely. Alright, so I think we're just going to jump right into the gameplay. This is a typical day for Bones Cafe. And here's the... I set up the menu with the dishes that we're going to serve today. I chose salad, onion ring, cheddar salad, chips and salsa, and just plain chips. These will be the dishes that customers can order. And now we're gonna set up our kitchen. Uh, one of the cool things about Bones Cafe is you can lay out the kitchen however you want. You can also go to the store from the hub menu and buy more stations. So you can buy like counters, chairs, ovens, cutting blocks, fryers, fridge, trash cans, etc. Another cool thing is that you can summon minions. Minions can be servers or chefs. Server minions will automatically take a customer's order and deliver their food when it's ready. Chef minions are programmable. You tell them exactly what you want them to do and then they'll repeat it in an infinite loop. You can see the chef in the top left corner is set up on a loop for creating the salsa for the chips and salsa. And we can see a chef at the bottom who is making salads and another one who is making onion rings. You can get more minions by killing customers. Killing customers gets you a soul. Every five souls will get you another minion. Be a necromancer. Raise your own undead army of kitchen staff. You can also kill customers for food. Every customer drops a unique type of ingredient. For example, snakes drop eggs. With each new ingredient, you can discover new recipes. Yay! New recipes will help you attract new customers, which will drop new ingredients, which will get you new recipes, and the cycle repeats. We can see our inventory of ingredients on the left-hand side. We have fish, beef, and cheese, and eggs. You can access the meat or ingredients from customers from the fridge. The game does have a story and a campaign mode. The goal of the game is to increase your cafe's reputation to a 5 skull rated cafe. You do this by serving dishes. Every dish that you serve, you'll get reputation. Reputation will allow you to meet the requirements by the skull ranking committee to achieve the next level. There's always time for a dance party at the end of a day. Don't mind the red stuff on the floor, that's just ketchup. Alright, that was a good day. We got some money and some reputation. We didn't lose too much from those corpse sightings. Now we're gonna buy some strawberries and go to the test kitchen. Let's get rid of all these minions so they're not in the way. We'll place down a mixer and those strawberries and now we're ready to experiment 
So in the test kitchen we get these little recipe cyclers which show us all the recipes that we do not have yet. They show us what we need to make the recipe, but it's still kind of like a puzzle to figure it out on your own, but it, the hints are shown. So what will this make? Ooh, strawberry pie. And a donut. Delicious. Bones Cafe is on Steam in early access for Windows PC. We're planning to fully release it at the end of October. We're also looking into porting it to the Nintendo Switch. Check it out on the Steam store where you can try out the demo or add it to your wishlist.